Well, hello, Kingsmen. Welcome back to the Napoleonic Battlefield. Today, we have a 4v4 on the um, AC map, Colm. Now, this will be... This one was sent in by Cook. Um, he's playing as the first UK up here. As you can see in the back, we have an 8-point Austria, an 11-point Austria, and a 10-point Austria. And, of course, we have a UK 7-point holding the front. Um, now, they do have two French armies that spawn right in front, and then a Bavarian army in a Rhinebund in the way back, but they have a road, which makes it very easy to quickly to get down here. As you can see already, France is advancing. Looks like we got, um, let's try to see which armies we have. Let's see some Lion Infantry. Ooh, they have some Voltigeurs, I believe. Some lights. Um... Uh, yeah, these, I can't tell, obviously, too much about these armies by looking this at them, building but has fallen to the enemy. you'll see any Imperial Guard. LOC has been taken by some of the line of a tree of France, pushing their troops in. They're also pushing up now for rush. Uh, sorry, <laughs> guys, I am already struggling here. Uh, UK have some artillery, a six-pounder. Um, that is already starting to fire at the advancing French now. France may have an advantage. If they push up now, guys, they could easily um, crush the UK before Austria pushes up. But Austria is close. Um, let's see what they are bringing. Looks like a lot of Grens in this army. I know there's one army. If you roll, you get a lot of Grenadiers. And oh my gosh, they have so many Grens. An army of Grenadiers. That is terrible. And then this army is going to be, I believe, just a line infantry. So some close quarters combat actually may work out for the Austrian army here. It's nothing but Grenadiers, guys. It's all Grens. Now, France is still advancing. They're massing up here. Looks like these are like the Leguerre. You know, like the light infantry. Gotta keep calling Leguerre. Oh, they killed the drummer. What did the drummer ever do to you? Look at him, he looks like he got totally betrayed. He's like, why? And you know, everybody's walking over, I'm like, eh, sorry mate. <laughs> um, but, oh my goodness, more troops slain here. The flag bearer leading a very, very uh, charming life. The officer, I don't think he is alive anymore. The officer has been slain, but um, the UK are going to uh, have some skirms up here. They have some line infantry that are already going to pour in a volley here. Oh, I can't even see a thing. And possibly we have some cav, maybe? Nope. But yeah, France is going to be uh, pushing up. In fact, I think the UK are going to get themselves out of there um, so as to not lose any of those men. They pour it in a volley. Killed a couple French troops and are falling back. We have some skirmishers on the left here. Putting in some fire, some skirms of the UK as well. Returning fire. We have the Scots Foot Guard Light Company, the Kitties. This is supposed to simulate a river. Um, they can actually put a river there. Uh, so line up the tree going to defend that side. The Toro Foot Guard. So they will be defending the right side. By the artillery, LOC taken. We have some of the more of the Toro foot guard in uh, the reserve. Uh, looks like we have the old immortals. You have Kirk's lambs. Let's see the young and lovelies. Such interesting names. Holy boys. The uh, Staffordshire knots. Now as you can see, France is forming up Bavaria, even also on the flank here. They have some artillery set up. Probably gonna focus on this side. Now they are gonna advance on the flank, which means. Austria will have to react with one of their troops. Um, they are still so far away. Taken, I mean, no, this Austria is almost there. So if Austria can get up here before the UK get overwhelmed, this fight could go very well for them. Um, you do see now a lot of Bavarian troops pushing down this road. What are they bringing? Looks like mostly Bavarian line infantry. Yeah, almost, uh, basically they're bringing just the Bavarian line infantry with a French flag. Uh, we do have more French out here on the side. They are going to start their advance. They have some cavalry, let's be horse artillery, as well as some chevaliers of France. And uh, Austria, of course, has their hussars and more hussars. So they don't have a lot. Um, France is pouring up here. They should be trying to get line infantry up to bayonet charge these troops. 
Uh, these guys are not going to do too well. Then you see they are falling back. I don't know if this is an LOC or not. Um, I think it is. Yeah, it is. So they're going to probably garrison this and try to defend this row of buildings, but Austria is almost there. They just need to hurry up. It would suck if the UK died so soon. Uh, they're, of course, going to rush up here. Maybe volley the French. Who's going to get the volley off first? Musket bugs in favor of France. And you can see the musket bug definitely helped in this situation because... Oh, what? Wait, Allied General has been killed. Well, oh my gosh. Austria, Ferdinand, he was killed by an artillery shell and he lays on the field of battle. Killed. There he is. By his horse. What a what a unfortunate series of events. Um, we do have the French pushing up. These tow rows are going to have to defend all by themselves. In fact, they may want to send up their reserves here to that side. France is not being very aggressive in melee right now. They are just standing and shooting, which is going to work in favor of the UK at this point in time. Um, this left flank really should start pushing over. I hear a cap charge. Yep. So we have some cuirassiers. Obviously, these guys cannot form square. Um, or else they would have. They are going to turn and try to shoot them. And uh, that's not going to go very well for them. They are going to get hit pretty hard by some Crassiers. We have more French way on the flank here. Um, I don't know how many of the French units can actually form square. But this fight... Oh my goodness, we have some of the Hussars, King's German Legion, going for some artillery of Rheinbund, some horse artillery. They're going to get bayonet charged here. But they're going to go in the back lines, try to shatter the French center here and cause some huge morale problems here. So, uh, definitely France is having some real problems here. This fight is just, uh, it's just really striking hard. Uh, France did push across with some of the line of tree. They did form square, which is going to cause uh, these Hussars to have to try to get themselves out of there. That's not going to do well for them. Looks like France is pushing across the river, trying to flank. We do have Austria pushing over some of their line of infantry to defend this side against France. Um, France is definitely still pushing here, but his mass of grenadiers is just... They're here, and they're ready to they are ready to do some, some damage. Um, but honestly, the UK seems to be doing pretty well here. So far. Um, artillery is still saved. We got more of the King's German Legion running. charging in now. Uh, France does have the river here. We have some Cav pushing up here. Austria is pushing up as well. Looks like uh, the UK have broken. The tow rows broke, so we have more of the foot guard who are going to try their best. Um, the artillery are going to get themselves out of there. They're going to start pouring in some volleys, try breaking these two French lineups here. I thought they would have broke. Uh, that's really surprising for me. This is going to be, I suspect, this will be a losing fight for France on this side. Um, you can't you, you can't take on this many Austrian. This is a whole Austrian line. And I don't think that France actually has um, a whole line to uh, push on them. Like, the coalition is doing well, and they don't even have their full army. Now, of course, Rheinbund has not even gotten here yet. They're probably, you know... Coming down the road still, so they're going to be late to this party. Uh, maybe before you know anything gets made. But France is going to stand in a line fight um, against Austria. Austria does have the double stacked lines. It's very good to see. They have units behind, units in front. Uh, France is going to start pushing up some line infantry. They do have artillery, which you got to watch that friendly fire. They almost hit some of their own troops, and they have to reposition that artillery. Uh, we do have some Hussars trying to sneak around the flank, which is probably why Bavaria has some cab there. In the center, Bavaria is now in this fight. This LOC, guys, is going to be extremely tough um, to be taken. I mean, you have units that rush in here. They're going to get shot as they're trying to melee here. It's a, it's a tough LOC. I'd say it's almost broken in some ways. But here we go. Oh, my goodness. What is Austria doing? You know, if they actually bayonet charge, they may actually have gotten a... Oh, what is going on here? 
this is not coordinated at all. Um, but they do have Cap pushing up with them. They get a charge bonus if you actually charge, but they just ran forward, so they actually don't get that charge bonus. Um, oh my goodness, France is actually femming them. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, France needs to watch out for that. I think that, that was probably not intentional. Uh, we do have a lot of French Cap here. What is this? Some heavies? No, not heavies. But another French army is right back here in reserve, pretty far in the back. Uh, Austria did lose a lot of their infantry, but they broke the French on this far right flank. I mean, using that grand power. Um, on this side, it looks like France is uh, getting very aggressive here. Um, we do have Bavaria in reserve here. This part of the fight is definitely not going to be a part I don't think they'll win. Um, obviously, Austria just made a huge breakthrough, and France is going to have to commit another line of infantry. I'm not sure what they were doing in the forest. But at least they have them, you know. Uh, now the Austrian line is probably very tired. They didn't actually lose that many. Um, they did. They actually have a majority, and the reserves for Austria are pouring up. In fact, Austria should we try punching through? And, no, no, no. Don't don't punch through the center. Push those Austrian line infantry on the side. Leave a couple in reserve, and uh, you know push this side. This artillery is in a beautiful position. Uh, you see, they are doing so much damage to this French line. Excellent positioning for this uh, five pounder. And they are going to get some terrible kills. Ooh. They got some good ones there, causing France to actually fall back. Looks like the UK actually going to give um, away a little bit and let Austria take up the center, maybe put their infantry in reserve or use them as like light infantry. Um, we do have the uh, Austrian line pushing up on the side here. Oh, this Bavarian artillery may actually get charged here. But if, if Bavaria is not careful, they are going to uh, have their unit once more charged. Or their artillery once more charged. Bavaria is not focusing on that side very well. Oh my goodness, I missed it. A huge cab charge. Austria charging in um, with their Chevaliers and Crassiers. And France was not able to square. They are going to push up some Bavarian line infantry here. Um, some of their cap is engaged here where uh, France is managing to hold them off. I don't see a lot of French cab, honestly, in this fight. In fact, look at the distraction here. A bunch of uh, Bavarian cab was actually held up on the back by these SSRs. But huge loss, three units lost now, and Austria is looking a lot better on this flank. Bavaria has even taken some losses here in the center. They are just going to stand and give three kills. They should get away from this LOC. They are losing so many men. This is a broken house. They cannot take this house, um, at least very easily. They need to fall back. Use their own LOC and use this river, maybe. I would, yeah, I, I mean, it may seem drastic, but falling back to this line is not a bad idea. Um, this Austrian army should be a little cautious here. Yeah, Bavaria was not paying attention here. Maybe a newer player, I don't know. I mean, I've been caught out before in multitasking. Um, but Bavaria is just losing terribly here. They need to fall back. This battle is swiftly going in favor of the uh, coalition. Um, today being a, probably a coalition victory. Now there is a French army here. Um, they, if they really play well, they could start pushing up on this flank and cave in. But the center for the French alliance is awful in... Uh, Bavaria is wasting so much here. Wasting so much in this fight. Now, I don't know what they're doing here. Um, but, yeah, the fight's ranging. The, they're only... The, the bad part is there's a huge gap in the line, and France doesn't seem to be trying to reform here. In fact, yeah, they need to reform, maybe use the church to kind of uh, relocate the forces. Don't use your artillery to base where your army is going to stand. Use your infantry to base where your artillery should stand. Because um, I think Bavaria has artillery right here, and they don't need that artillery there. And they don't need their line infantry to cover it. Uh, the side has kind of quieted down here. Maybe Rheinbund. What is Rheinbund doing? Ah, uh, see, Rheinbund's losing their artillery. 
it is over for them, unfortunately. But Ryan Bunch, hopefully, he's going to get some reinforcements. Those will be desperately needed at this point in time. Uh, France is going to try to pincer this um, Grenadier army here. They need to fall back and wait for reinforcements before letting them push. I mean, you don't need to push this LOC yet. You know, let let this French army flank and uh, get around, because this army actually is going to get some excellent shooting. Uh, they are going to... the, the uh, Basically, these units are going to be standing in a house, between houses, and it'll be one unit firing against a whole line of infantry. Which is a good thing. So France is, and Bavaria, thankfully, falling back. I'd like to see them fall back a little further. Um, also, France does not need to stay here. They can fall back over to this area. Use their artillery to kind of defend your position. But here we go. We have Rheinbund reinforcements that will hopefully even the odds here. Looks like we got some French as well as some uh, Westphalians and like such. A French general as well pushing up. France, I do like this push they may have. Like I said, they will be firing a lot more. Them will be firing against only one or two. Uh, the Dutch, or not the Dutch, <laughs> the e Austrian Grenadiers. France should not be standing in front of this. I mean, look at these guys. This is, this is called musket bug, guys. This is why the Imperials have a tough time. They are standing here and not shooting as much. And it was a play for the coalition as well. These units are going to break. They're not going to make it. Um. But that is why the Imperials lose a lot more often than not. And that's why you have to uh, use them more aggressively. Not to shoot, but to melee and use your assault columns. In fact, France seems to be doing that to uh, good effect at this point. Look at this push. At the same time, this artillery is probably getting some good kills. I can imagine. Are they going for the LOC? I don't know what they're going for. They better watch out because uh, some Chevaliers are going for them and they don't have any cab defending their artillery. I, I It feels like this army, maybe. I don't know. They, you always have to have cab guarding your artillery. This artillery is about to be minced. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. Coming out of the smoke. I mean, they are taking some losses. But they are going to take out this artillery piece. And Austria needs to, or, uh, ooh, Bavaria needs to fall back here. Rheinbund is putting more forces out here. I'm really surprised they aren't putting more in the center here um, to focus on this side. France is a very healthy army with some Rheinbund troops. They can be focused down um, a lot of the coalition troops here who are kind of stuck between these buildings. Now, maybe... Uh, these guys are still tired and winded. Maybe they're going to try and uh, charge once more. Do a crazy assault charge. I can't imagine this is going to go very well for them this time. These guys are definitely going to get a shot. Or not. Oh yeah, they're going to get a volley over here. Now, not over here, but... These guys are not shooting for some reason. Oh, the coordinated cavalry charge going in with the grenadier charge. Well, France may have walked into a trap once more, getting too close. And all of their... I don't know where all the French cav is in this, this field of battle today, but it is sorely lacking. Um, unfortunately, they are losing a lot. Now, of course, you see the grens, which are very tired. Are uh, These guys are exhausted. They are not going to do well. Now... Also, charging two units together could be a little little bit more of a weight. But with Cav coordinating, I think Austria is going to win this. Um, yeah, they're going to win this just because they have the Cav charging in the back. And they should win that, but they're exhausted. It should not work. And you have to be very careful not to use a uh, tactic of... Ooh, that was really laggy for a second there. Looks like these are some grenadiers, yeah. This is some, some grenadiers, charging grenadiers. And these guys are exhausted, so France is going to try their best. They, they killed the French general. That, that's another French army basically down the tubes. Um, things have not ever seemed to be really decisive for the French. They seem to not be doing too hot. 
and um, yeah, this is this is rough. This is very rough. France is just breaking all along the board here now. As the coalition have held their ground, and uh, even with the reinforcements from Rheinbund, I mean Rheinbund should have not. I don't think they should have committed over here. I mean they're just gonna get shredded up by artillery. As you can see, they're just standing here taking artillery. Why would you give them free kills? You should either fall back or advance. Um, but if you just stand here, you know, being stagnant, and, and I, I am more of the opinion you should attack. Um, it carries a momentum. You carry momentum. In fact, it's like Ryan Butt did push up troops, thankfully. Okay, so they are, they are pushing reinforcements to the right side to defend it once more. Um, France, obviously, was broken over here, but they did really hurt, I think, this Austrian army. These guys would shoot. There we go. Do a bayonet charge. You might actually break a good amount of these uh, Austrians. They're exhausted. Maybe not. Now they just broke. Their general, sir. Another now general has break. been broken here. Brian Bun's just getting shot up in the back. Um, as they're trying to advance with their artillery. Uh, it's not really working too hot for them. Now they do, like I said, they have reinforcements pushing up. Their center, though, looks pretty iffy. To say the least, Bavaria still seems desperate to take this LOC. If they take it now, it, it still, the UK have gotten their worth out of this LOC. Um, I wouldn't be too upset to lose it. They broke a lot of Bavarian troops on this LOC. Not a bad trade. Uh, looks like Bavaria is going to start pushing up here. The artillery pieces, though, once more... Gonna probably drive them back. Do I hear some cab? Oh, Bavarian cab was in the back. Um, trying to uh, maybe get that artillery so they can make a decisive push, but it did not work well. We do finally have some French charging this house. We'll see why this house can be so potent. Although, actually, these French seem to be uh, doing pretty well taking this LOC. We do have some pioneer like sappers here. To, uh, they should be charging in right now. Um, Ryan Bun is now going to square up. They could win this. I'm not going. I don't think they will. Uh, there's too much cab for Austria still. And Bavaria has almost totally broken here. All in men the are running. Um, Bavaria also just pushing up here. This is looking a little disorganized. They did lose it. They did finally lose the LOC to the French, which they should charge in more troops because these guys are going to start shooting them in the flank, and that can turn disastrous very quickly here. Uh, that artillery for Rheinbund is just getting shot, uh, just annihilated by uh, some Hussars. Rheinbund just got harassed. They have a big army, though, which you can see is forming up here now. These guys are exhausted, which means their shooting and reloading is going to be a very, very slow. Their aim is going to be awful versus probably a fresh Rheinbund army. So Rheinbund could make a huge dent here. In the center, these guys obviously are not doing too well. These guys are fresh. Um, they are going to be very combat effective. Sadly, these pioneers are getting point blank executed. And they aren't going to make it. So, maybe a final decisive push here, if France can clutch this out. Now, um, I do believe this LOC holds the Imperials now in favor um, of winning by LOC victory. So, they have to hold on to this. Uh, I think they're actually doing a decent job now of holding this point. Now, they still have another LOC, which they may have to take. There's another one way in the back. We have some cavalry. Looks like... Oh, were these, were these uh, Crassieres of Rheinbund? Oh, that's such a shame. These are such good units. Rheinbund had such good cab in the back. Wasn't able to use it. We do have reserves here. Rheinbund needs to push them up because of the machine gun on the flank. The UK are just going to start peeling away. Pew, pew, you know. At the uh, flank of Rheinbund. You can see they are chopping away at these uh, Polish. Poor guys. That's kind of cool with the building on the side, though. Huge break here on the flank, though. Looks like Rheinbund is going to be pushing up. This is a failed attack. They should fall back now and just delay this Austrian army for as long as is humanly possible. Now, 
Austria is definitely, you can see their units. Trying to fire this LOC, it's going to be tough for them to take this LOC. I mean, in order to get into it, they have to run past a bunch of Rheinbund troops. But Rheinbund is having some morale problems. They need some reserves to All back the morale. For... Although, yeah, what's this, what's this wavering I keep seeing on the right? Oh, uh, that artillery, unfortunately, just died. Very unfortunate. You can see Rheinbund is just getting shot up. Their troops did barely got a fire. France is going to now start trying to help out on this side, but with the UK sitting here, just three units is all it takes. You can just chew way out of flank, and it'll be over. Um, UK should... I, I, I definitely think this is how they should be playing. They should be playing on the flank, acting as light infantry. It may not be light infantry, but act as light infantry for this Austrian army. Um, there's so much calves still. There's no way that, that the... French are going to win this one. I don't know how they possibly could. Austria is actually having some problems here. They're, how are they wavering? What do I not know, Austria, that you know? You guys are winning. <laughs> the fight, stop wavering. Uh, I mean, maybe they're going up against more troops than they have. There's four against, you know, six. We have cavalry charging in now. Why is France suiciding their line infantry? <laughs> oh my gosh. Once again, the assault columns of Austria just steamrolling through. This feels more like a meme build. Just all grins, but it seems like a one that could be fun. And of course, with Austrian cab pushing up, the Rheinbund flank is gone. So just the center by the LOC, and there's still 42 in. We, we're almost 30 minutes in. Um, you see, Austria's cab is definitely making a big problem. Here's Rheinbund's cab. All right, so they have, they have some good quality cab. They brought some Lancers, they brought some heavies, or some Dragoons, possibly. So they brought some good cab. It just wasn't able to really be utilized well, which is very unfortunate. Uh, maybe now they will with the f crushing the flank, but um, it's not going to matter because the whole left flank for the coalition has been successful. And uh, they're just going to start swinging around, and the Imperials do not have enough troops to defend. Now they can use, they can use the LOC to kind of anchor and swing like a door. They do also have artillery, which I don't know where they're going to put it, but they have to put it somewhere. Where's that artillery piece? There it is. I knew I saw something. So this artillery, 10-pounder, has been helping even the fights here. And here comes the Austrian sledgehammer. We've taken the buildings up. Austrian sledgehammer going in. They are probably going to be very... Okay, so here goes the cav. Charged in against the Austrian line, probably couldn't form squares. So Austria is actually starting to cave. Their flank is starting to cave a little bit here. Um, yeah, they've got to be careful not to kill. Rheinbund just lost their Lancers. But they did break two Austrian line infantry. So France and Rheinbund now are going to start advancing. Um, you have uh, one of the uh, 10 point getting some farming. Farming work done out here, you know. He's not calling off sick today. Yeah. We have the final stand probably of this uh, Imperial Alliance, which is mostly just Rheinbund. They should try to let this LOC work for them a little better. They can fall back even further. Fall back to here and let them try to either charge the LOC or advance right next to it and get some good kills. On this flank, it actually looks like Rheinbund is starting to take some losses as Austria is able to stand their ground and pour some volleys in. We may have some cavalry charging in, though. And uh, start slicing and dicing up the Austrian line. But this Carassier, which is tired, is uh, going to go in. Let's see who actually will win this fight.
Austria actually seems to be having the worst of for wear, probably also with the debuff of their units all starting to rout. Um, although, oh, look at this. I think the artillery just fired canister, maybe, which is causing Rhinebud to have some wavering of their own. The cavalry across the air is charging in, just routed Rhinebund off the bat, and Rhinebund is gone. So the only flank left for the Imperials is this flank where Austria is having some problems. Um, in fact, they're going to fall back across the river here to their allies, let their artillery maybe do some shooting. We see the enemy through the tree line. This is a cool map, though, Colt. I have to try this map. Um... I don't know if it's a newer map or not, but oh, look at this. In flames. This building is in flames. The desperate, desperate stand here. But I think they're actually, yeah, they routed. They have been routed, so uh, this final flank is all that's left. Austria is going to bravely hold the line here with what's left of their line infantry. Not a bad place to hold. You have the river. And you have the trees. And the remaining French that were on this side of the river just got sledgehammered once more by that Grenadier army. Uh, along, of course, with the cavalry. Cavalry and the Grens working very well together. And uh, I do believe, yeah, this will be the last defense. As the Austrians are moving up to reinforce, they're moving up their artillery to get a better angle. France may just have a last stand they're going to execute. They have some cavalry left. I think what hurt them was Rheinbund was so far in the back. Uh, their cab, which is really good cab, I might add, um, was not able to really move up. To help in this fight till the end. I mean, like I said, the guys, this this cab is really good. They have a lot of heavy cab. Um, Dragoons, Lancers, I mean, they could have maybe helped out. Imagine if they had been on this flank when the first Austrian Grenadier attack with the cab coordinated. Imagine if they had been there to either hit the flank of the Grenadiers or hit the flank of the Austrian cab and drive them back. That could have been a huge Thing. I mean, obviously, the coalition got to the fight way faster than the Imperials, and the Imperials were aggressive. They did attack. So, um, you know, what could have been and what was are very different. This unit's going to have so many kills. I don't know. I, I enjoy farming as much as the next man, but, you know, how do you know how many actual kills you got from the actual fight if you're farming the whole time, you know? See this cab now going in once more. UK in the back can help support the side. They are squareable. Imagine these poor guys. They've been fighting this whole time and they're told to form up and they see another French army. And they see their Austrians just running against, you know, a couple like 20 cabs. This building has fallen to the enemy. Oh, where? Oh, what? Ryan Bun threw in some cab, and now it's up to these uh, 38th Staffordshire to charge in, as well as some of the light company, the kitties. So we'll see what happens there. Catch them before they did, though, but wow. Wow. Ryan Bun is just turning the tables on these guys. This artillery are running, seems to have done some real damage. They fired some canister and then fell back. And the coalition is going to have to advance on uh, a very strong position that they have lost. That artillery position even being destroyed. Rheinbund is just really turning the flank here, but France doesn't have very much left. Neither does Rheinbund. Um, here comes the Grens on the flank. These guys aren't going to stand very long in the land fight here. Guaranteed. These guys are probably getting tired. They are going for the artillery piece, though. That was very offending to them.
Look at them marching, marching away those French. Ryan Bunn's gonna form up, I do believe, on the flank. You see the flag peeking over the hill. And you see Ryan Bunn Cab pushing up as well. I like that the French have not really given up. They didn't just like go YOLO, you know, go in. They are trying to play this tactfully. Or tactically. Tactically. Not tactfully. Maybe that too. But, ooh, what a nice hit. So, but they don't have enough. Um, it's very unfortunate. I love, well, I'll say this. This detail. Look at these, look at the grass. Look at the flowers. Like, it just looks so good. So good. Let me see the wheat field looking. I mean, they the de detail on these maps, guys, you won't see anywhere else. You heard it here first, folks. NW3 maps are the best. <laughs> um, and it looks like they're gonna have their last stand. Do a little like, you know, football. Soccer narration. Now we see, we see them. But no, that's that's not soccer. I'd have to be screaming. Um, golf. Imagine if a golf narrated NCW3. A like, golf narrated it. Guys who do the golf, who talk like really quiet, you know, you see their swing, or you see this line, line pushing up here. You have the UK. Be very aggressive here. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work here. France is getting shot to pieces in this wheat field. They are about. To, nah, no. They just changed their minds that fast. Um, and Ryan Bunch should just at this point stand and fight. I mean, what are you gonna do? What you doing? There's even UK behind them. Look at these crazy, these crazy guys, these dudes. They have them trapped, they're encircled. What are they gonna do? Is the brave cab charge? They are forming a square. They're shooting them. Oh my goodness. And breaking them. I think I think at this point Ryan Bund is going all in here. This one UK unit may actually route all of these troops here. Possibly. Mahat. Nice. Obviously we got a shot off. Good for you. No, Phil. This horse is like, excuse me, guys. The, the battle's over. Just give up. I got you. Don't mind me. Oh, we have some a cab going in once more. And uh, Ryan Bun is going to break in mass. Don't tell me. They have one LOC way over here. They managed to hold it. Why? Uh, okay. Well, I will skip to the end because I'm sure they're going to march up here and have to uh, take on this one unit. So. I will skip to the end, guys. We'll see the stats of this awesome battle. Right, guys, that was the battle, like I said, sent in by Cook, so thank you for that. Um, you see the players. We had uh, the Fifth Coalition, Liechtenstein, got only uh, killed 19, 15, and there's 14 and 9. So uh, definitely some got to be more in the action. You see Bavaria, that LLC really messed with them. You can see they only got 262 kills because of that. Um... The kills, let's see, uh, Anzac got 1,059, you see Seppin got 1,233, and Ryan Bun got 744. So, um, not a, I would say, decisive, oh my goodness, 427 kills. Well, we don't know how much of it was farming. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, well played by the Coalition today. Uh, a victory for them, so we'll go down in the books as um, a win, which was well played, well fought, well held. They definitely had a good position, and then the aggressive push on the left really helped them out. So um, that's about it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in another video.